What's going on? To let you know that the BMW X5 will be given away to someone who signs up for the Corporate Citizen Playbook the end of July or the 1st of August. Now, let me go ahead and tell you how you can go ahead and have a chance to win this. You must go ahead and get into the training of the Corporate Citizen Playbook that is going on right now. I assume that it's gonna take me until the end of July to get that course and the YouTube course built out. And a lot of you have questions. A lot of you wanna know what's going on. So I have a little webinar that's below the video. It's an automated webinar. You don't have to pretend, we're not gonna pretend like I'm holding a live webinar and you can just show up at any time you want to and I'll be there live. But there's a webinar that explains the things that are going on in the YouTube training and it's an automated webinar. And then what's gonna happen this Sunday at 5 p.m., I'm gonna have a live Q&A webinar where you can ask your questions. And this is the killer thing. Everyone that shows up to this automated webinar is gonna get an amazing discount off the training. So go ahead, go over there to the automated training. The link's gonna be below in the first comment or the, the link will be in the description. And then you can go ahead and get an amazing discount for buying this and have some of your questions answered. So let's just go ahead and jump into this video. This video isn't for the people who want to live a simple life or a humble life. This video is not for the people who don't want to make any money. This video isn't for the people who don't want to live well in America. So I've given you the prompts so you can take this information and you don't have to watch this video because if you're not trying to be a hard charging entrepreneur making money in these United States of America, this video ain't for you. So let's go ahead and talk about getting rich in the United States of America. I was watching this video by this young lady. She's 24 years old and she's created a multi-million dollar business. And she's 24 years old. And I asked myself, what happened? Because I've been watching her journey because she posts on YouTube. And I was like, right now in America is an amazing time to get rich. It's an amazing time to start stacking money. It's an amazing time to build out something. It's an amazing time to position yourself where you can become a millionaire in three to five years from scratch. Regardless of what you're doing right now, regardless of where you are, this could be your life in three to five years if you're willing to do the work. And this is where we start to separate and this is where we start to actually get off the path because everyone is looking for some type of financial shortcut or they're looking for some way that they can create something where they can free themselves from the actual due diligence of starting a business. Now, why do I bring up starting a business? Because there's a multitude of things on here. I was watching something where people were trading and people were posting the amount of money that they made. And these folks were successful traders. And I would say that these folks were making an additional thirty to $60,000 a year, which is really good because they were actually executing trades and they were winning on trades and they were making money. Thirty to sixty thousand dollars a year, and these were the top level uh, traders. And I was just sitting there like, I don't understand the thought process between people that don't want to do the work. Because I'm not one of those people, so it's kind of hard for me to actually. Um, think about what's going on in the minds of these people because I simply don't know. 
But let me go ahead and kind of give you the secret ingredients because everyone is looking for something that they can snap their fingers. It's something quick, something easy. It's something that they can literally make happen very quickly with little effort. And that's, that's the thing that everyone's working, looking for. And that's one of the hardest things to find, because let me go ahead and explain to you the things that you need to do. Now, I'm going to speak from experience. I'm not going to talk about things I haven't done. I'm going to speak from a vantage point of doing. Now, this is my theory and this is my take on the things that you need to do to start a business and to develop wealth. Now, first of all, before we go ahead and talk about getting rich and getting wealth, what is rich? Rich is $250,000 a year annual income. What is wealthy? 3.5 million. I would pretty much be more comfortable at 5 million, but once you get into millions of dollars of assets, these assets can perform and fund your lifestyle. And typically you're going to need 3.5 to $5 million in assets to create enough cash flow to where you don't have to work or you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. So that's getting rich and that's wealth. And while we're here, a lot of people keep asking me to mentor Tim. And it's always, do you offer mentoring? And before we go on with the video, I want to say something. Do you want to write a book? That's something I've done. Do you want to start a YouTube channel? That's something I've done. Do you want to start an online business? That's something I've done. Do you want to start a real world business? That's something I've done. I cannot mentor you on things I have not done. And I don't really think a lot of y'all want to do what I'm doing because number one, I enjoy what I do. I love doing the things I do, but you know, with the mentoring, <clears throat> I mentor through my courses and we're getting ready to actually add some, some once a week live training, um, that's coming. <clears throat> so we're getting ready to do more things, but, I have so many people who want to be mentored and there is no mention of any cash flow for me. And it's just like, I've had people say, Hey, let's go to lunch and this other stuff. And one of the things that I am really, really good at, I've become really good at this is I'm very good with managing my time. And if you're not trying to pay me any money, you will be ignored. I'm just letting you know before you even ask. You, you, you will be ignored because even, you know, th this, this is a conversation I've had with virtually every woman that I have, I've dated. That many women think that because I run my own business that my time is their time and I can take off. And I was like, I've had that this conversation. It's like, no, 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 no. I got to work. Yes, I have my own business. I enjoy doing it, but I got to work. And my free time isn't yours to dictate. And I'm just saying that because so many people come to me with this, let's mentor, let's have a conversation, let's talk. I got the craziest email that tells me that people are not paying attention. I'll, I won't even go into that. But all right, so here's the first path, the way that I know it. You need to start a business. Why do you need to start a business? Cash flow. You start a business, a profitable business, a successful business, your cash flow will be tremendously higher than any investment that you can get from stock, real estate, or cryptocurrency. How do I know this? I made enough money in one month to buy a brand new Porsche and an X5, and I pay my rent, pay my bills, pay my employee, and I had money left over. There is no traditional, let's call it workable investment that you can get those type of returns that quick. There is nothing on the planet. 
So this is why I say you need to start a business. And this is why I had the preamble at the beginning. If you don't want to start a business, this video isn't for you. If you don't want to, because I, I, I want you to think, um, 25 years ago, I was living in a boarding house with prostitutes, crackheads, and other wild people. I was living in a boarding house. And I've been able to pull myself out of that situation. I haven't been in that situation um, 24 years. I haven't been in that situation in 24 years. And the amount of things that you can achieve in America by starting the business. And this is, this I think is the biggest problem. What kind of business should I start? I get that question all the time. And I, every time I get that question from someone, it's like, I have no clue because I don't know you. I don't know your habits. I have no clue. And that's on you to figure out what kind of business do you want to start? Because uh, a lot of people want to jump into this YouTube thing. And a lot of people are jumping into this YouTube thing. And I would say 90% of them, or I would say 95% of them have no clue to what they're doing. And it shows because on my dashboard, I can see people starting YouTube stuff and they're starting off on the wrong foot. And they're not, you know, I, cause when I had my hidden channel, I only kept it going for a few weeks, but I got up to like 200 subscribers in like two weeks. And I am seeing people who have been on YouTube for months and only have a hundred subscribers, maybe 200 subscribers. And they've been on six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months. Uh, they, they just don't know. And this is one of the things that I feel is a big, big issue with this. I don't know what type of business to start. I honestly don't think that's the problem. Here's what I think the problem is. Glendon, I don't want to start a business, spend all this time, effort and money, and it fail on me. I need something that's 100% guaranteed to work when, and that's what something I will get into. Now, this is really interesting. Uh, so many people who get in real estate fail and the real estate marketing department is so big, it's so powerful that literally right now today, there's someone who's going to sign up for an Airbnb course, going to sign up for an Airbnb course, and they're going to manage all their resources and they're going to go out and purchase their first property with no understanding of the market, with no understanding of cash flow, with no understanding. Because essentially, uh, there's a guy here on YouTube, his name is Pace Morby, or Mosley. Pace Morby has the two hands signal up. And Pace Morby has thousands of properties. And you know what? He makes $110 traditionally off each problem or property, which explains why he needs so many. And you right now, you know, you have so many people who are trying to get into real estate and they, they have one or two rentals. Now I will say, if you were able to get three rentals that paid 2,500 bucks per month and the properties were paid off, you could live on that money. But here's the thing, and I consistently see it in the real estate market, that um, a girl, she came on YouTube and she broke down her numbers for the first year for her Airbnb. They bought a house in Florida. Kudos to her to realize that, you know, where she lived, she wasn't going to get a lot of traffic. So they bought a house in Florida that they remotely manage, right? And... This house made $115,000 the first year that they rented it. And they also were able to take two family trips and use this house as a family trip. And then she honestly, kudos to her, she broke down her numbers and her expenses for the first year were $107,000. The property made 115,000 and her expenses were $107,000. She did not lose money. 
but she made pretty much, um, I think I calculated, I think she made like, no, she made like a thousand dollars a month in real estate. And let's go ahead and take her mouth because the woman, she was personable. I think she was pretty smart for her to make money to retire. They would need a minimum of 10 properties with those same kind of numbers, 10. And this house was like 500,000. The mortgage is 5,200 bucks per month. So the mortgage counted for $60,000. And then they had all taxes and permits and stuff. And, you know, looking at real estate from the fantasy perspective, and once again, shout out to this lady because I subscribed to her channel because I thought she put out a really good video because she gave the truth that they were making an additional, it's like the cost for 107, 115. So made $8,000 in profit, which should get better over time. As long as they, you know, cause once again, she, they, they had the good sense not to get a property where they live. They got a property where people go to visit. So that that's kudos to her. But you see people who are, you know, this, this smart woman, she has a good job. Her husband has a good job. So pretty smart. And what they will have to do to scale this business is acquire more properties. And I'm not talking about two or three properties. Based upon my math, and I think they've already thought about this, they're going to need 10 properties to get to the point where they can walk away from their jobs. And this is going to be spending or going in debt to the tune of millions and millions of dollars. Now, let me go ahead and just peep you with something. You can right now, today, find a product that you can sell on Amazon. And to get started with this process, you would need maybe, let's go ahead and say $2,000. $2,000. Buy this product, sell it on Amazon, keep your job. And once you figure out the highs and lows of selling your product, you can make $3,000 clear profit off of your $2,000. Now, the real estate thing gives you some serious tax deductions. I will say that, but we're just talking about cash flow. So you go ahead and start a little eBay business, selling a product or service and make $3,000 per month, which is $36,000 in income with a $2,000 investment. I guarantee you that these folks spent way more than $2,000 to get into this Airbnb that has a cash flow position for them at the moment of $8,000. See, th th this is the, the thing is you want to start a business that cash flows. Um, as you know, my website got hacked Sunday and I got it fixed. Monday, Monday morning, the girl emailed me and said, oh, it's already your site's well. And uh, Tuesday, I started making sales again. I made more money on Tuesday than this woman and her husband made on Airbnb. I made more money on Tuesday than they made in a whole year of owning an Airbnb. And I guarantee you that my business that I set up did not cost me what they paid to acquire that one Airbnb. I'm, I'm going somewhere here. Stick with me. You need to produce a business that produces cash flow. Uh, real estate is very sexy. It sounds good. I, hey, I own three rental properties. Oh man, you do? Wow, that's, that's impressive. And then you go ahead and I have a little eBay store. And I made $50,000 last year. Oh, you got an eBay store. Even though the eBay store made more money than the real estate, it just doesn't sound as impressive. So 
one of the things you have to do is rid your mind of doing these impressive big things. You have to get these things out of your memory banks because this is the first thing you must start a business and the business must cash flow. And essentially, uh, we're going to be doing this in the corporate training. We'll be talking about businesses and stuff because I get hit by so many people and I may sound a little dismissive. I may sound a little harmful. How in the hell can you become an adult and not have a clue to what you want to do? I can understand if you're 16 or 21 or 22, but if you're 30 years old and you have no clue to what you want to do, I can't understand that. I have no concept because let me explain to you how I got into business. Number one, I was selling commercial office furniture. Number two, my first successful business was selling commercial office furniture. Let's dig into that. So I started a business doing something that I was already doing. No wonder it was successful because I already knew how to do it. I, I knew everything. I knew how to talk to, I knew how to contact the customers. I knew how to manage the installation teams. I knew everything. So I started a business doing something that I was doing. And then next year I wanted to sell office furniture, new office furniture. Didn't like the margins. The margins completely sucked for me because I made some mistakes. And I remember the money I made selling used office furniture. So I went to the Google machine and I started like, where can I get a bunch of used stuff? And this is how I found storage auctions. See how that happened? I was actually in business, making money, and this gave me the fortitude to search because, see, I knew that I could make a lot of money selling used stuff. I knew that from experience because I had done it. Then I got into the storage auction business where I was selling used stuff, and I made a lot of money selling used stuff. You must get started. All of this waiting and huffing and puffing and figuring out and watching a million YouTube videos. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Before you take action, it's going to keep you broke, keep your pockets flat, and keep you in a state of desperation. Now, this is one of the things I would say about watching a, a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, YouTubers lie. YouTubers lie. And you could be watching some videos and you could be watching, let's say you found 50 YouTubers that was putting out content about something that you were interested in. And then you watch these YouTubers, then you go try to do the thing and it doesn't work. I wonder why. Because YouTubers lie. So you're watching a bunch of YouTubers. You're watching a bunch of TikTokers. You're getting all of this knowledge. And then you try to start your business and it, it, it does nothing. See, one of the things you, you have to learn is where you get your information and sources from. This is one of the reasons, like when I was starting, uh, thinking about starting a moving company, I did not watch any videos on YouTube. Didn't watch any of them. I recently put up a video and had someone's like, all these movers are rich and stuff. I personally know that the moving industry is down. And I would have started a moving company in a down market with high operational costs. And I'm so glad I didn't do that. I am so glad that I did not do any of that. I didn't even go anywhere near the high operational cost. So what you got to do is stop being scared and you need to get started on something. And I'm going to tell you, let's say you pick something out, you get started and you get into it and you find out you don't like it. That's cool. You want to know why? Because you've learned some stuff. You know some stuff about business. And this is one of the reasons that I teach the holding company strategy. You start a holding company, you get an operational company, operational company doesn't work. 
bam, we cancel that bad boy. We start another operational company. It's a system. It's a process. And one of the things, because so many people do not want to do the work. And this is, this is the thing that's literally choking people because they don't want to do the work. And this is why 85% of the country makes less than $40,000 a year. I would say some of those people just don't know any better. I'll put that out there. And some of those people just don't want to do the work. And once you get past that, start a business, must be cash flowing, manage your business, hire people. And uh, I was watching a video where the girl talked about her, her whole transformation of being the worker bee and then creating a business where she had people working for her and hiring people and stuff. It was such a transformational event that she literally went off YouTube for not one, but two years. Cause I understand why she went off YouTube because here you are doing all the work you used to it. And also to her credit, she deleted all her old videos because see, she's made that transformation to becoming a CEO, becoming a business owner. She's made that transformation and she realized that all of her old content was created by a person that she is no longer that person. I, I totally understand why she deleted her content because you know, she's getting ready. And once again, she had created a successful business where and she said in her video, she's like, YouTube was never a source for me to make money. Cause she had created successful businesses out here doing other things. Let me say that again. She had created a successful business out here doing other things. So once again, you got to start a business because that's the fastest way that I know <clears throat> to get rich, which is $250,000 a year. Uh, that income level just changes so many things, it changes the cars you drive. It changes the houses that you live in and it changes so many things. And this is something else. I'm, I'm going to be sounding like Petty Glendon, but I love watching these YouTube videos for these guys saying you can make all this money and they're in an extremely small apartment. You want to know why? I have very good spatial ability. I can see and plan stuff out in my mind. And I'm just sitting here like, this is crazy. This is crazy. You can make all this money, but you're living in this small ass apartment. That's interesting because one of the things you will see is the people who are making money. They're living in nicer homes and living in nicer apartments. They're, they're just are. And that's one of the things that you have to understand. And then one of the things you have to get a better understanding of the situation to free yourself because there's a lot of people. And once again, I, I d please don't ask me what kind of business should you start when I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know your likes. I don't know your proclivities. I have no clue to who you are as a person. I don't know you. So I got that off my chest. I feel much better. But the thing is you got to start a business. And this is one of the things that we're going to be doing in the corporate citizen playbook. We've got a lot of things that we're going to be talking about. And I need people who want to do the work, who want to show up, who want to actually do things. Because here's the thing. Um, getting rich in the United States of America, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it carefully. Right now, 2023 is the easiest time in the history history of mankind for you to start a business and for you to make that business profitable and for you to start getting rich. Now, once again, let's go back to the 1960s. There was no internet. You had to have thousands of dollars of cash on you 
to rent a building. You, you have to have money to start a business. You have to borrow money. Today, you can literally start a business for $2,000 that can become a million dollar business. Today, you can do that. Why do I say that? That's what I did. I had $300,000 in the bank and I did not spend hardly any of that money to get my business. I spent most of it because I put myself on the budget of 1500 bucks per month. How could I put myself on the budget of 1500 bucks per month? I had a paid off car. I had no debt. I had cash money in the bank. And once again, I used to be a guy who lived in a boarding house. And the majority of you have never lived in the boarding house. The majority of you never had to ride the bus to work. And the majority of you don't know anything about that. So I don't want to hear all this, well, you know, you got money. At one point in my life, I was worse off than you are right now. Worse. So I don't want to hear no whining. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear any alternative theories. You just got to open up yourself to do the work so you can start performing at this higher level. So once again, we're gonna get into a lot of stuff with the Corporate Citizen Playbook. Um, we got a lot of stuff with the YouTube training. So go ahead, open up your mind and prepare yourself because we have a lot of things that we're gonna do for the people who wanna go ahead and get in and start to see things and make a better situation for their lives because it's starting a business and you know once again everyone's like what kind of business should i start i'm going to say this and this is going to sound really arrogant why am i successful in my business because i'm doing things i like to do i like writing i like producing videos i like creating online courses i actually like this stuff and you it's up to you to dig in and figure out what you like. Because more than likely, you don't like the same things that I like. Once again, and it's a process of trying and error. You need to get started. You need to start your holding company. You need to start your first operational company. And you need to get busy. Because here's the thing. I don't care how old you are, to quote Sally Mae Jones, if you live long enough, you're going to get old. In three years from now, I'm going to be 60 years old. I don't care how good you look. And, I, and this is another thing. There's all of these people all over social media who are 60, 75, 80 years old, and they look really good. And it's like, this is how I stay looking like this. There ain't nothing you can do. It's genetics. All of these people have really good genetics. There is nothing you can do if it's not in your genetics for you to look that damn good when you're 60, 70 years old. There ain't nothing you can do. Just saying. But this is just one of the first little chats because we're going to be having more conversations. We're going to have more chats like this because you have to get started. You have to go out and do this thing. That's on you. All right. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.